Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. So, welcome to the review on the LED mirror. This thing is pretty awesome. I got this in from Decoraport uh, to check out for review, and I gotta tell you, this thing's pretty impressive. It's got a complete strip of LEDs all the way around it on the inside. And she's a pretty big mirror. It's uh, 24 inches wide, 32 inches tall. And they do have quite a selection of LED mirrors, horizontals, verticals, uh, different styles, just crazy. Um, anyways, this one here, uh, it's got a five millimeter thick uh, glass on it. Uh, there's a watertight seal basically on this thing. So none of the light will bleed through uh, the sides here. And it's a 40 millimeter thick base surrounding it, aluminum framed. Now, on the side here, I don't know if we can even get this in picture. Oh, there we go. There's the on and off switch with a rubberized cover on it. So you can just turn it on or off. And it's pretty fast response time for the LEDs. So there's the mirror completely turned off. And we'll turn it back on. Boom. It works really, really well. Now, I have a very small bathroom, so unfortunately I can't get all the way back. But I'll see what kind of an angle I can give you here. Somehow. Give you an idea. There we go. So, she's a pretty big mirror. So, if you're looking for something like this, definitely look into these things. Um, I'll have the link in the description of the video uh, for this particular mirror, but feel free to check out their website for all their LED mirrors, among other things that they carry. And uh, But anyways, well, let me know what you guys think. I really like this. It is way cool, man. It really is. Um, now, if I was to give a star rating on this thing, I'd definitely have to put this thing at a real easy 4 out of 5. Uh, for you guys, it is definitely worth the money. Now, how much money is this one? Well, that's a good question. So here's your answer. Uh, it's $119.99, which is actually not a bad price. Um, I think that's pretty fair, you know. Now, I'm going to go into the other room, and I'm going to show you the uh, box this thing came in, uh, so you get an idea how things are packaged, etc. And, uh, and it, by the way, it is a very heavy mirror, too, uh, just so that you're aware. And uh, anyways, let's go check out the box. Okay guys, so here's the box that it comes in. It's a rather large box. It's well padded with styrofoam. So you're not gonna, shouldn't have any problems anyways during shipping. I never did. And this was shipped to me via Canada Post. So um, yeah, decent sized box. Not too shabby. So let's go check out that mirror again. Okay guys, so pretty cool isn't it? I really think this is a really sweet mirror and they have some really really kick ones there too. You know, so if you're looking for something to add some style, modernization into your bathroom, this is definitely the way to go. Very very cool. Um, cost wise, I do not find this to be an expensive thing. Uh, even some of their more expensive models I think are very fairly priced too. So um, anyways, guys, that's uh, pretty much it for this video. Um, you know, as usual, leave your questions, comments, that sort of thing. But before we go, um, installation of this thing, very, very uh, direct, very easy to do. Um, there's a couple little brackets, get everything set up even, you know, make sure you got a tape measure. And uh, now this thing does come with the screws too, as well as some drywall anchors. Now the anchors that came with it are very, very uh, cheap chintzy ones. So I'll, I'll say that as part of, you know, that one point missing thing, because we are talking four out of five, right? Um, I would get some heavy duty uh, drywall anchors like I used. They basically look like little corkscrews with a built in uh, drill bit on the end of the, uh, the fastener. And uh, I used those because each one of those uh, will hold over 20 pounds a piece and you're gonna need four of them. Uh, now, the mirror isn't quite that heavy. I mean, it's not immensely heavy, but I wanted heavy-duty anchors. Because of going into drywall, I wanted to make sure this thing is going to stay on my wall. 
and uh, I really don't trust the uh, the cheaper drywall anchors that are out there. They're just not my uh, user friendliness type of anchors. But um, definitely, I would suggest uh, getting the higher quality ones. Any hardware store will have them. But um, anyways, guys, that's it. That's all. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.